Welcome to the second installment of Purple Shirt Previews here on South of Normal Live. First up, Scream. Could be Scream 5 as it is the fifth installment of the franchise. TV show not included. Will not justify that mess with the review. Sydney Prescott is back. Ghostface Killer is terrorizing Woodsboro again after 25 years. They're trying to figure it out. They enlist the veteran for the help. What's going to happen? You got to watch it to find out. Personally, Scream is near and dear to me as it is the horror movie franchise of my youth. That and I Know What You Did Last Summer were the ones that I was watching as a child. Halloween saw uh, one and two and four and five will rank number one like they're the top for me that that arc Love it all the time, but scream is right there uh, This Wes Craven. Uh, it's kind of a satire of horror movies in a way if you've seen them uh, You'll know what I'm talking about where they set up the old-school rules of horror and follow them to a T uh, But these films are I I like them. I, I won't go as far as saying I love them, but they're just tops for me, and I can watch them anytime. Um, this one, I'm really hoping's good. I'm really hoping doesn't disappoint. As as I said, I'm a fan. Um, it's January release date. Kind of takes the wind out of my sails. Kind of, just a little. Brings back Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette. I'm uh, rumors of Matthew Lillard or swirling about it'd be kind of great if he comes back at the whole original ones i mean scream launched the careers of these 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 actors including drew barrymore um so here's hoping this installment of scream coming out january 14th lives up to what i want it to be uh, hopes are high release date's bringing them down but i'm hopeful next preview death on the nile I was I was digging what they were laying down in this preview. It's kind of like I've got a murdering mystery feel. They're on this river cruise down the Nile. Someone's dead. It's got to be someone on the boat. Who's done it? Kind of reminded me of Clue. The movie, not the board game. Go watch the movie. It's <laughs> it's not good. It's a good time, though. Reminded me of that, but it's supposed to be serious. Uh, Gal Gadot is the main star I saw uh, in the preview. The biggest star, I should say. Got to the end of the preview, and there's still some time left. And then all of a sudden, these names start flying up. And that was like the focal point. That was what they want you to remember. All these, I think there was 13, 12 or 13 stars they pointed out as being in this movie. And I was just like, wah, wah. Yeah. I've said it a couple times. I'm gonna keep saying it. If your preview selling point is, look, look at all these people who are doing a, doing a movie. <laughs> It's probably, you got to let the movie stand on its own two feet without them. <sighs> Couple that with its February release date, and I'm just, I got unsold on this movie fast. Hopefully I'm wrong, because it looks like it might, it has potential, but hopefully I'm wrong, and it's just a knockout, but uh, hopes are dashed, and gut feeling is bad. Sorry, folks. Death in the Nile coming out February, February 11th. Next preview, Moonfall. This was like the sci-fi adventure, apocalyptic, uh, something in space is heading towards Earth. We got to fix it. We got to take care of it. Film uh, that don't, don't, don't look up, satired in a way. Uh, Moonfall was direct. I think it was directed or made by the same people who made like Independence Day and those type, like that type of movie. It kind of had that feel in the beginning. Uh, kind of lost. It had like a tonal shift. Like it started out like I felt it was like serious at the beginning, and then it kind of tonally shifted to like, oh, it's a comedy. Like it's worrisome. They did that in the preview. Um, usually movies that have drastic tonal shifts throughout. Like don't do well, don't do well. Like in my not like financially, I'm saying like do well to captivate you and make it a memorable experience. Halle Berry, Patrick Wilson, Michael Pena, and John Bradley were all featured in the preview heavily. Uh, the moon is 
the moon's coming towards Earth. What's going on? We got to fix it. This disaster uh, action adventure thriller and comedy. I don't know what it's supposed to be. So I look like it's going to be a very visual effects heavy movie where 99% of it's going to be, look at all this cool stuff we're doing. Here's 1% of the story that you don't care about. February 4th. Go see it, folks. The next amazing preview that I saw. Jackass forever. If you haven't seen a Jackass movie or show by this point in time, you're just going to watch a bunch of guys do stupid shit. You're going to laugh. You're going to cringe. You're going to recoil in disgust. And that's what it's going to be. There's going to be no fuss, no muss with this movie. It's just, here's the crew. Here's them getting hurt. Here's them being stupid. There you go. Um, these movies came out my late teens, early 20s, so I watched them all. I'll watch this one. I'll probably laugh at some things, but overall, it's just these guys need a paycheck. Here's their movie. February 4th. Go see it, folks. Next and final preview for Purple Shirt Preview Day, Marry Me, starring Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson. I regret watching this preview. Regret. Totally regret. This just feels like Jennifer Lopez's latest attempt to be like, I'm still relevant and a leading actress. I'm going to play myself in a movie. I'm this rich performer who everyone fawns over, and then I'm going to do a stunt and get married in front of everyone live on every media platform there is. Oh, wait. I got stood up at the wedding. My boyfriend's cheating on me. Look, there's Owen Wilson. Let's just marry this rando right now. Here's a romantic comedy. I have no hopes for this movie. No hopes. It feels like they're trying to build this from, uh, they're building this as a romantic comedy. But to me, it's Jennifer Lopez clinging to the hope that she's still relevant. I, like, you can't be the same in every single movie and expect it to do well. You can't. Like, you gotta grow as an artist. You gotta, and she's given, she's just the same in everything. I need, I, I'm not a fan. I'll ne probably never be a fan. Sorry. She, I just wish she'd fade off from movies and play a different role. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's a movie, maybe there's films out there where she does. I know there was that one, I think it was called Hustle. I don't remember the exact name where she was a stripper and everyone's mad she didn't get nominated for an Oscar. Maybe because she's not good. I don't know. Her fans are going to peep this. They're going to check it out. February 11th, folks. Marry me in theaters. That has been this installment of Purple Shirt Previews. I'm Mike Soren, your host of South of Normal. Ch subscribe to the channel. Check me out. Give me a follow. Thanks, folks. You've been great.